In this video, we're going to go ahead and extract some Bethesda archives. These are B2A files. They are compressed files, and they contain things like the textures, the NIF files for the game models, and what have you. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you want to do is down in the video description, you will see a link to BAE, the Bethesda Archive Extractor by John WD7. Go ahead and select that link. It'll take you to this page. Select Files. And right here up at the top in the main files, you want to go ahead and just download this manually. So I'll click download man. It says, uh oh, you need VC plus plus 2013 redistributed installed. So you should, if you're running Windows 10, have this installed. I believe it's already installed. So if the program doesn't run after we put it on the computer, go grab this, come back here and select that and get it. <laughs> 10 select it. And we want to go ahead and say open with WinRAR. Click OK. And here's the program. Now I'm actually going to update mine because I believe mine might be out of date. I think I have an older version. So I'm just going to select all these, drag them somewhere on my computer, which I have a folder called Fallout 4 Modding.bae is my folder for it. And go ahead and close this out. So we're going to go ahead and open up the Bethesda Archive Extractor. It automatically is installed. It's not an installer. It's just a simple program. So let's go ahead and go up to File and select Open File. Now we're going to go to our Steam installation for Fallout 4. It should be in Steam Apps Common Fallout 4 Data. Wherever you installed Fallout 4, you want to go there. So I'm going to go to it. And because I'm lazy, I'm just going to select this here. Hit Control C. Come over to his Open Files. Select Control V. There we go, I'm right to it. And I'm gonna go ahead and select a few files here. So we want our materials folder. We also want our meshes folder. So Fallout 4 dash materials. Again, this is in your data folder for your Fallout 4 installation. You want materials, meshes. I'm holding down control and selecting these. We also want textures. One, two, all the way down and hold down control and shift to nine. So make sure you select all of these. So one through nine, and you also want the materials and the meshes BA2. These are the only ones that we really need for our tutorial series here. So let's go ahead and grab those and click open. That's going to give us a nice list here. Now we're going to uncheck LOD setting because we do not need those. We just want to extract this here. So we're going to say, where do we want to extract these two? Now I usually put everything that I extract to Fallout 4 modding. So I'm just going to put it in here. So I'm going to click extract. It's going to say, where do you want to put this? I will go to my G drive and I'm going to create a folder, new folder. And I'm going to call this Fallout 4 mod toots <laughs> because I already have a Fallout 4 modding. I've done this before, but I just want to make sure we're all on the same page. I will select this Fallout 4 mod toots folder. Okay, select folder, and I'm going to go ahead and let it extract. Now, this is going to take a little bit of time, so I'm going to fast forward the video. And we're back. It's all done extracting, and I've opened up this PC G where I put it in the Fallout 4 mod toots. And just make sure that these three folders are here. You can kind of hop around in them, make sure that you see stuff inside of them. And if you do, then you know that they extracted correctly. In the next video, we're going to be setting up 3ds Max for our modding pipeline. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post below the video and click subscribe to follow us on YouTube.